Now you were a bit of a mama's boy in the movie. How, what's a your, little bit. A little, a little bit, bit, a little, a little bit. bit. Now, what's your advice on ladies that are dealing with the mama's boys? You know, you have to draw a line in the sand and say enough's enough. Mm -hmm. If you want me, and you want me to be happy, <laughs> you have to stand up for me a bit. I think that it's an important thing for a man to be able to respect his mother, but still stand up for his lady as well. I think you need to be strong enough and man enough to do that. Sabrina's love life was hit or miss. Oh, oh my God! Sir, are you okay? I am so sorry. Oh. I could have killed you. Until she hit him. Sabrina. <laughs> You marry me? Yes! The ceremony begins at 2 p.m. sharp with dinner and dancing to follow. The Watsons are upscale. And Jason and I will be married. Girl! <laughs> the Taylors are down home. Jason is getting married this weekend. You know by now she should have come over here to meet me. This Mother's Day. Ooh. This is nice. What you looking at? It's August in the vineyard. I'm looking for Barack and Michelle. I'm Sharice Nicole with Real Black TV, and today I'm with Laz Alonso and the beautiful Miss Paula Patton. Oh, thank, you. thank you guys for joining me. How you doing? Thank you for having us. Good, good. I'm good. You know, I've been a fan of yours for a while. Um, Breakout Kings is amazing. Thank you. I uh, love Avatar, Miracle Day St. Anna, um, Fast and Furious. But um, when I really became a fan of yours was last night when I saw you at the Janet Jackson concert. Oh, no doubt. Love you forever now because you were there. <laughs> Are you a big fan? Standing up, dancing. Oh my God. I didn't sit down that once. Me neither. Yeah. Crazy. Absolutely Crazy not. Fan. Janet is just such a, she's just such a force to be reckoned with. And when we lost Michael, I realized that you have to go see the icons while they're here. You, you have really to. have to like enjoy them because they're not going to be with us forever right weren't you there know? moments where she was standing still where you were like gosh she looks like michael yeah you you felt you felt just both their presence there right yeah you know? it's good all right go cool. love you for that <laughs> <laughs> so your characters in this film um are they a lot like yourselves i know that you were an investment banker and you were raised by a single mother is that a lot like who you are it was eerie when i read the script because there were so many similarities yeah you know i think jason's got one up on me you know because he, <laughs> he's, he's jumped the broom right i got right. a broom in my closet waiting to get jumped uh -oh. but uh, other than that you know i really felt like um it was a character that I felt I could bring a lot of truth to, mm -hmm. you know, from my own personal experiences. Right. And hope, hopefully, you know, I accomplished that. Right, okay. definitely. Thank now, you. you have jumped the broom. <laughs> I I didn't at my wedding. You didn't physically jump the broom. But I, I, you got I married. am married, yes. Yes. And you know what? I'm embarrassed to say I didn't know about the tradition of jumping oh. the broom until I read this script. And then I thought, if I ever renew my vows, i definitely do it because I love the idea of sweeping away the past and jumping into a new future with mm -hmm. someone and, and two families coming together. It's a really beautiful tradition. Right. Now, were, were there any similarities in the chaos of getting married and merging the two families? No. We, for us, we had known each other since high school, Robin right. and I. And so our families had already had Thanksgivings and Christmases together. So we'd worked through our drama by the time our wedding happened. So luckily, it was drama-free. Oh, yeah. And most people don't have that look. So, yeah. Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> now, you guys, um, both in this film, you had the best chemistry. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank yeah, you so much. I, I really enjoyed it. Now, why is it important for people to see that in the film? Oh, I think it's the most important thing when you're making a romantic comedy that you really, as an audience, are invested in these two people and you, and you feel their love and you care about them so that when they go through the trials and tribulations that we do, they, the audience cares. Right. Yeah, they have to be cheering for them and right. wanting them to, to make it through. You know, and, and I mean, it's it's really important at the core that we focus on, you know, the, the connection that they had, the romance that they had, and can it stand through thick and thin? I understand that you love each other and uh, that you're maybe even meant to be together. But I should warn you that sometimes life will really test you. Oh, well, we'll pass. I mean, Reverend mm -hmm. James, Jason was sent to me. He's my soulmate. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so sweet. But even a soulmate can really test you. Now you had to juggle, you know, catering to your girl and catering to your mother. Mm -hmm. Had that ever happened to you in real life? Well, being the product of a single parent home, mm -hmm. you know, there's always some juggling going on. <laughs> Yeah, and, and it's the kind of thing where, you know, sometimes how they say art imitates life, mm -hmm. you know, and vice versa. You know, there are times when you can infuse personal experiences into a script mm -hmm. to give more truth 
to the moment, but then there are also times that you learn from scripts and you learn from the character and the character kind of teaches you, you know, how to sit, how to respond in certain situations. So right. I feel like, you know, playing Jason Taylor, not only did did I give him life, but in some ways and in some, you know, respect, I learned from that character as well. Absolutely. Well, that's good advice. Thank you guys so much for your time. It was Thank really you great. For Thank, Thank you so much. It takes a little truth. You need to go get Sabrina and squash all this. Shut up. Look at your shirt. A touch of faith. Every family has its secrets. And a lot of love. I promised you that I will always be here for you, but you have got to change. To make the big jump. Life is like a disco. No matter how the music changes, you just keep on dancing. Jumping the Brew. It is like the bold, the black, and the beautiful here. Directed by Salima Keel.